Goodbye, sweetheart. Goodbye, Grandma. <laughs> For eight years, American families welcome Full House into their house. <laughs> As Stephanie Tanner, Jody captured hearts with a girl next door grin. I'm ready for school. And a catchphrase that still gets giggles. How rude. Jody grew up on the show from five years old to 13. On TV, she was the classic middle child, sandwiched between a beautiful older sister. Ooh, the girl is hot. And the irresistible Olsen twins. I Gotta be Yankee Doodle. When the show ended in 1995, Jody said she wanted to be a normal kid. Good morning, everybody. She went to high school and college. At 20, she married a Los Angeles police officer. Candace Cameron, her older sister on Full House, was in the wedding party. But two years ago, unemployed and bored, she tried meth and quickly got hooked. Soon, she was using meth every day. The tabloid press reported a three-day bender, as well as an intervention on the part of her Full House castmates. Jody strongly denies those allegations. Instead, she says she checked herself into the Promises Drug Rehab Facility and underwent six weeks of intense treatment. Now she says she is sober and ready to return to acting. And Jody Sweeten, who played Stephanie Tanner on Full House, is with us. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Very good, good to, to see you. Yeah, what do you think when, you, when you're looking at, because we're all like glued to the tube and seeing you as Stephanie you know, back in Full House. What is it like for you when you see those images? You know, it's funny. People always ask me that. And, you know, growing up when I was on the series, I've never really watched it. I, and even to this day, it's kind of surreal to watch myself on television growing up, you know, from 5 to 13, um, and to realize that it was such a hit that so many people watched it and, and grew up with me. It's kind of strange. It was the ultimate family show it really for, was. for so many people. You have been clean and sober for several months now, right? Yes, yes. I um, went into rehab actually on March 21st of last year. And when did you first become addicted to meth? Um, it was probably a couple years ago. Um, I had experimented with it, and soon began doing it all the time uh, and after a while I realized that you know I just I couldn't do this anymore I was hurting a lot of people that I loved I was hurting myself and um, I just really had to to come clean about it what do you think you became what was the attraction to you <sighs> you know I'm not really sure I, people ask if you know it had anything to do with being on the series growing up in this business and uh, to be honest, I'm not really sure if it had everything to do with that, if it would have happened regardless. Um, but there is a certain sense of loss when a series ends mm -hmm. that, you know, it, it's like losing a family, people I was with for eight years. And after that, kind of trying to figure out who you are at age 13 when you've just lost your job that basically identified you for, you know, the sure, first part of sure. your life is it's a little difficult. You know that there's so many um, child stars that have gotten into various types of trouble and involved with drugs. We had Leif Garrett, the teen idol, right. who was on the program yesterday with his mother. And his mother was, was trying to say it's because of the people that he was involved in at mm -hmm. a young age and kind of looking to others as the fault for uh, because of being in the spotlight. But you're saying you don't think that I, that had I, anything to do with your, your troubles? You know, like I said, I'm not really sure. I, I, it's kind of a question of would this have happened regardless of me being on a series? Um, I, I'm sure that there are things that happened to me. You know, growing up in the business, you have to grow up very fast. Um, and you do have a different type of childhood than anyone else your age, which has its, you know, it has its benefits and it has its drawbacks. Um, but, you know, I, I think that... Um, Luckily, I've surrounded myself with people, you know, the cast and everything that have really been supportive of the whole series. And it truly is still a family. We've had various mm -hmm. cast members on the program for, for different reasons, and they, you, they all talk about uh, how, how to stay in touch yeah, and, I, and help. And it really is. I mean, I, you know, I, I say all the time that we're like a family, and we really, really are. I mean, they've been calling me the past couple of days, wishing me luck, sending me love. Um, and, and it's, you know, really a great support network that we have. What made you want to go to rehab? What made you make the decision that you'd had enough? Um, just realizing that I was living a, a total double life. I mean, on the one hand, you know, I was married to a police officer who, uh, you know, I, we are going through a divorce right now, but I still adore him. He, he and I are actually very close friends. And he had no idea? He had no idea. Um, so I was really living this double life, and after a while it just got to the point where I gave up. I couldn't do it anymore. It was it was tiring, mm -hmm. you know, lying to my family, lying to my husband, lying to my friends. I mean, nobody knew that I was doing it, and it just got it got really tiring. It wore on me a lot. And now you want to return to acting? Yeah, I do. I, I 
um, really want to go back into it. Uh, you know, I've taken a break for a while. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do it or if I was doing it because that was what I grew up doing. If I, you know, just mm -hmm. was doing what I knew. Um, but now, you know, I'm back in. Um, I'm doing some really great uh, classes. And I'm really wanting to get back in the business. You know, I, I would love to work again. We wish you all the best. Thank you so much. And you're anything but rude. <laughs> Thank you. Know, you. The, you're so rude. How rude. Oh, rude. Yeah, they... <laughs> oh, there you go. All the best to you, Joe. Thank you so much, All Robert. right, you take care.